debate. Thank you so much for joining us here today as you take a look inside of uh, the debate stage where pretty soon it will be President Trump and Joe Biden for the final time. And uh, we will have full coverage for you throughout the day right here on the News Now from Fox. I'm your host, Mike Page. Thank you so much for joining us here today. We've got you covered leading up to the event. You see that we have the countdown clock on. You're not going to miss one aspect of this debate from the start to the finish. We got you covered. But for the next hour and 15 minutes, we'll lead up to this moment. How did we get here? What happened in October? It's a year that definitely hasn't been uh, really that anyone has ever seen. It's been a month for an election that no one has seen. So we're going to cover it for you on every angle right now. And uh, standing by in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, we do have Fox News' Ali Rafa with a preview of everything that we will be expecting tonight. Ali, let us know. I mean, this, this is a month that nobody saw coming, a year that nobody saw coming, and uh, we're going to see it all unfold tonight. That's right, Mike. Well, this is the last chance for President Trump and Joe Biden to make their pitch on a national debate stage to that shrinking block of undecided voters. We expect the president to continue hitting Biden uh, on this continued page from his 2016 playbook. He's accusing his rival of being corrupt and criminal uh, after that controversial New York Post story about Hunter Biden and his alleged emails, the FBI's investigation surrounding that. And we expect Joe Biden to continue hitting the president on his coronavirus uh, response. The president is trailing nationally by about nine points, so this is his chance to make up for a lot of ground in a very short period of time. Uh, he was widely criticized after that first debate in Cleveland for bullying Biden. So to be successful tonight, his strategy should be to paint a softer image. Uh, and while Biden really only has to kind of just uh, avoid being put in a corner where Trump could interrupt him, he has to stay on message. He has to not uh, dis be distracted, not have any gaffes. Um, so there's definitely a lot of things that we're uh, looking out for tonight, Mike. Yeah, it definitely is. And some of it will be, will we be hearing a question or questions about uh, Hunter Biden or the laptops? Obviously, President Trump uh, wants to hear that question, but could we see it where President Trump might just kind of take over the dialogue a little bit and maybe ask a question directly to Joe Biden about Hunter Biden? I think that's very likely. This is something that President Trump has been pushing. Um, he's held 13 rallies in nine states since recovering from COVID, and he's mentioned that at almost every single one. This is a topic that's not going away. This is a topic that Biden and his campaign has largely avoided uh, addressing. Uh, we remember he um, reacted to the CBS uh, news embed uh, a couple days ago when he asked about it, slamming him for, uh, you know, reporting fake news. Uh, but this is something that the Biden campaign is saying if Trump does bring this up, they've already anticipated it. They're saying that it's just Trump trying to distract from his failed coronavirus response. So they are fully expecting this to be brought up on the debate stage tonight. Biden has taken the last three days off of the campaign trail to prepare for this debate. So it's highly likely he has a prepared response. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see as to what Trump asks and what Biden comes up with. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a night to remember. Ali Rafa breaking it all down for us, leading up our coverage today of the final presidential debate coming up on the less, almost less than an hour away. We appreciate it, Ali. Thank you so much there in Nashville tonight. Thanks, Mike. And we continue to roll on right here on.